I was having a cup of coffee the other day when I heard a man say to his friend, hey, have you heard about this new big thing, synthetic biology? Synthetic what, said the friend? Synthetic biology, the man repeated. Scientists and engineers creating new forms of life in labs with computers and stuff. You know, for useful and profitable reasons. What do you mean, new forms of life, said the friend. How's that even possible? I don't even know what life is or how it started in the first place. How could people create new forms of life already? Somebody curious should do a film about that or something. Yeah, right. And there I was, traveling the world, meeting top researchers in that field, asking questions, getting answers, to learn, discover, and often getting more confused. Synthetic biology can take many directions. It's bringing engineering into biology. We can now evolve or artificially select at the level of the DNA itself. Can we create and embed new computation into the cells so that we can program the cells to do whatever we want? Yeah, jumping into the universe of synthetic biology is about answers that lead to new questions and more answers on everything the last 25 years have taught us about the living, its origins, and what we will do with it. And it reveals the way science has changed since the beginning of the 21st century. It's about money, buzz, communication, applications, once biology becomes synthetic. Nature has only explored a tiny fraction of this.